Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to do operations with variables. In this case, we're going to add, for example, or subtract, for example, 5x minus 2x, 5a minus a, 2b plus 3b. But what does that really mean? If you see something that says 3x, really what that means is it's 3 times x, or with other words, you have 3x's. This is the same as saying x plus x plus x. This means 3x. Or, if you have something like 5a, a then here takes the place of the unknown number. A can be any number. There's five of them, therefore you can write this as 5 times a, or simply write it out as a plus a plus a plus a plus a. Or if you write 6b, that means you have six b's. That means b plus b plus b plus b plus b plus b. There's six of them. Now what happens when we do operations with this? For example, 5x minus 2x. Well, 5x means you have 5x's. That means you can write x plus x plus x plus x plus x. There's five of them. And then you subtract from that two x's, which means you subtract the quantity x plus x. So here we have two of them. Well, five x's minus two x's will give you three x's. And that's what that means. Now we can do this in a more simplistic fashion. Here we have 5a's, we subtract 1a from that, well 5a's minus 1a will of course give you 4a's. And here we have 2b's and we add 3 more b's to that, 2 plus 3 is 5, so this means 5b's. And that's how we do operations with variables. When we have an unknown number and we have a certain quantity of them, for example 5 of them, and then you subtract 2 of them from that, 5 minus 2, is equal to 3. If the unknown number is x, then 5 of the unknown number minus 2 of the unknown number is 3 of the unknown number. Or, if you have 5a minus a, again, 5 of the unknown number minus 1 of the unknown number equals 4 of the unknown number. And that's as simple as it gets. So, once you have the hang of that, on the next videos we'll show you some examples of how to do operations with variables. And that's how it's done.